Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash and welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ in front of you. You have to say what is the major product of this reaction. And you see the four options are provided and one of them is the right answer. I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box. Don't hesitate because remember self-evaluation is essential for improvement and that's why you should try. I believe you have tried by yourself, so it's my turn to give you the right answer. So, as usual, I suggest to you, student, the condition of these reactions means consider a H2SO4 and water. It's very simple. So, focus should go what unique in these reactant. These reactant is unique because of steric inhibition of resonance or ortho dimethyl interaction means it's a repulsive interaction and because of this ortho dimethyl repulsive interaction this carbonyl group forces to go out of planarity so that's why it will not behave like an aromatic ketone i mean you may consider that this methyl phenyl ketone it will behave as a simple ketone because this group will remain out of plane so it is not in conjugation so its reactivity pattern is not like this one okay it's a isolated ketone type derivative second thing that because of this out of planarity nucleophile can't attack this ketone so these two point we should remember and let's learn the mechanism so concentrated hcl you can see first step concentrated hcl is a very strong acid and it produces h plus and along with that h so4 minus anion and we know since sulfuric acid is pretty strong acid so these h plus concentration is significantly good and what this h plus will do it will react now if you look at in this molecule there are two types of reactive center i mean one is this oxygen because oxygen is actually a hard base because it's harder in nature it is lone pair of electron and proton is hard acid but still the protonation will not occur here instead of this the action will follow the ipso substitution pathway means this double bond will attack here why i shall explain after some time why the protonation on ketone didn't happen so in this way first protonation will happen and this is the sigma complex structure you can see it's a bisulfate salt later on upon treatment with water it will undergo nucleophilic attack now first time i told that nucleophilic attack is not possible here but in the second time why see first time everything was in plane so so this carbonyl was out of plane and since it was out of plane nucleophile cannot approach it but right now the center the center where this proton is attached is actually sp3 so it is above and below the plane that's why it could be accessed and it was actually bisulfate means acidic medium so what happened you may think that now it can undergo protonation efficiently so first step is protonation here because this is a bisulfate one proton still there so this is protonation now after protonation water can act as a nucleophile and attack here so it can open so in this way it will produce this derivative now some of you may argue that sir it is actually acidic medium and you are saying o minus is it logical okay so it may not that much logical so what you can do you can write it oh so it is nothing but a gem diol formation and we know that gem diol are not stable so what it can do it can push its sorry it can push its pair of electron this bond and this bond will be eliminated and it will come here and the driving force for this process is aromaticity of this ring so actually what reaction happened it the CH3CO is replaced or substituted by this proton. So, the since the functional group got substituted, that's why you may consider this is as ipso substitution. 
now a question may come in your mind that sir at the beginning stage you you say that protonation is not possible on carbonyl oxygen but later possible why this is because the concept name as steric inhibition of resonance or orthodimethyl effect now let's accept that this protonation happens so you may think that okay so it will be abstracted so it will be protonated now you can expect nucleophile or here you can say it's water water is in the second step water is acting as nucleophile so water will act attack here and ultimately it will open up to produce this thing fine so we understand now this step is not possible student why because remember first of all because of this two methyl group this carbonyl is out of play so it means this either this methyl group will be above or below means and the consequently the opposite will be case in the oxygen since i have shown here the methyl group is above so this oxygen goes below the group now if any nucleophile need to approach this so it will get a severe repulsion because of the pi electron cloud of this benzene ring point number one and point number two is it can approach from this corner side because this two methyl group will also create steric repulsion and this concept has a unique name student burji dunich trajectory i have already discussed a dedicated lecture on this please visit if you have any doubt in this concept so according to this concept nucleophilic attack could be achieved near about an angle of 107 degree and that could not be accessed here because of this benzene pi electron cloud and second thing this two dimethyl group steric protection so that's why if protonation happens also that doesn't have any fit i am not saying student protonation is not possible on this oxygen but that doesn't have any fit actually when we discussed any chemical reactions mechanism we need to focus that which pathway exactly results our product and in this case so in this case this one so that's why the mechanism is proposed that is ipso substitution and in this case proton attack this position and this position is student remember it is also ortho to these ortho to this methyl and this methyl so it is significantly electron rich and this proton attack on benzene ring is actually aromatic electrophilic substitution so since this position is significantly electron rich so these ortho ipso substitution or aromatic electrophilic substitution by proton is possible here so i guess you have understand about the oxygen's protonation and consequence so now question is what is the product of this reaction obviously option b is the product now if this question appear in your exam less than 30 second how can you come up so first you need to understand that this molecule is having severe ortho dimethyl effect and this carbonyl group is out of plane so if this carbonyl group is out of plane then although protonation possible but nucleophile cannot attack it i have already discussed about mesetoic acid system if you want to learn this concept better so please visit this mesetoic acid system two videos so cannot attack here so consequently other pathway will be followed okay so now if you look at the if you go for back calculation concentrated sulfuric acid it's a proton donor so using this proton donation method how this keto methyl group could be converted into carboxylic acid or benzoic acid derivative generally for this is nothing but student haloform type reaction although in this case that doesn't happen it ultimately stops in this case in this case if you do haloform reaction it will stop in this cx3 stage but by for the sake of argument if we accept that this reaction happens it needs sodium hydroxide and halogen did i provide i provide only constant sulfuric acid so this is not possible now first of all first step is considered sulfuric acid and at the say subsequent step did i neutralize the sulfuric acid or heat it in water medium so means alkaline workup loose type of thing which may result from sulfonic benzene sulfonic acid to phenol no just sulfuric acid and water so these two phenol formation from not possible so these option remain this is the right answer okay so if you do not have 
proper knowledge about diffusion substitution so by back calculation you can come up to the right answer now let's see what we have learned today so due to steric reason ortho dimethyl group forces the ketone to be out of plane arrangement and this is responsible for this ipso substitution and here the product is more stable because this ortho dimethyl effect or steric inhibition of resonance is absent when the ketomethyl is substituted by proton next after the ipso substitution so the nucleo the carbonyl group comes out of the plane because just look at here so after this attack this center became sp3 so right now nu this is sp3 so that's why this group comes above the plane right now nucleophile can access this center so reaction is possible nucleophilic attack on this carbonyl carbon possible because generally we say in mesitoic acid system the carbonyl group is not accessible for nucleophilic attack but this is possible now if so position is ortho to two methyl groups and that's why it's relatively more electron rich for this aromatic electrophilic substitution and finally after this sigma complex this aromaticity is the driving force for this substitution reaction and finally the final product is actually is relief of this strain so this is the driving force for this overall reaction so this is the end of the discussion i believe this video may be useful please write your opinion in the comment box and if you consider my contents are worthy then please help this channel to go so thanks for watching stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video bye bye